Here we are. All right, now, I am going to talk to you today about that one of the Bible passages we just read, but also the one that Bernard's going to talk to us about. And it's about who Jesus is and how we can know that he's that person. So I'm going to give you some clues and I want you to tell me who it is we're going to see. Okay, so I think we are going to think about who will the first one be. If there was a car accident, okay, and someone was on the phone and they called people to help them and people turn up in a car that has red and blue flashing lights on top and they're wearing a blue outfit and maybe a vest and they have a blue hat and they've got blue and white checks on their uniform, who do you think they would be? The police. That's right. So we can know that they're the police because they come in the police car because they're wearing the right uniform. There's all sorts of things about them that we know that makes them the policeman. So this is who you would expect to turn up. Yeah? The police would come. All right. Now, you might have seen the one on the back of that, but here is another one. Okay, there is, you have gone to England and there's a huge house, the biggest house you've ever seen. And there's a lady there and she's wearing a funny kind of gold hat with jewels all over it and the queen, you think, Alice? Well done. That's right. If you saw her, you would know that she's the queen, wouldn't you? Because she's wearing the right clothes and she lives in the right house and she's got the right hat on and everyone treats her like the queen. Yeah. So we'd probably know that she's the queen because of things about her. Now, Jesus, when he was coming to Jerusalem, he knew that all through the Old Testament, God has given people clues about what his special king will look like, about what the king of the whole world will look like. And one of those clues was when he comes to Jerusalem, he will be riding on a donkey. Now, that seems like a funny clue, but that's okay. God said he will be humble and gentle and riding on a donkey. So Jesus knew he was ready to come into Jerusalem and he said, well, people are on the lookout. They're waiting for me. They're on the lookout for the king who's going to come. So I need to make sure I do all the things that people will know then that I am the king. So when he went into Jerusalem, what's he riding on, Alice? A donkey, that's right. Yep. So that's one of the special things, just like there are clues about everyone else about who they are, that's one of the special things about Jesus. He knew if I do that, people will know that I am the king. So... I'm going to ask you, what does it mean if Jesus is the king? Why is that important to know? He's the boss, yeah. Yep. Do we probably need to do what he says and listen to him? Yep. And find out all the other bits that he wants us to do. He knew his Old Testament so well that he knew he needed to be riding on a donkey. We should probably know the Bible that well as well. So we'll read the Bible together. Yep. And he's the king, but is he still your friend as well? You can talk to him. So it's important you talk to him too. So let's talk to him now together. And then you guys are going to do some sheets. And we've got a picture of Jesus on a donkey. So you can remember, oh, Jesus is the king. He's the one. And then you've got some finder words. You've got a maze to help him find his way to Jerusalem. You've got all sorts of things. But the main thing to remember, yes, Alice, is that Jesus is the king and he gave us all the signs and all the clues and he knew exactly what the king had to do and that's who he was. So let's pray together and then you can go and do your sheets. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the king. Thank you that you told us you're the king in what you said and what you did when you were here. And thank you that you're still the king now. Thank you that you're our friend and we can talk to you and help us to know our Bibles very well like you did. Amen.